So the jam box got a fair amount of flack when I did my video about it for being expensive because it's a Bluetooth speaker that acts as, doubles as a speaker phone. It's got like, you know, bass and treble and all that stuff. This is a less expensive alternative. This is the Twist speaker with rechargeable battery. It is basically a speaker and speaker phone plus like bass and treble and stuff. So Slick wants me to get the packaging off it in a hurry because it's pretty shiny. So we're just going to undress this Bluetooth speaker in a big way. And Slick's apparently tired and wants to sit down because he's trying to move that like stool over here. Uh, so let's see what the manufacturer has to say for themselves. Uh, sorry Slick, there's nothing I can do. It is wireless, okay. Eight 2DP Bluetooth for wireless music streaming with a 30 foot range. It is a speakerphone with a built-in microphone and an advanced noise cancellation for wireless speakerphone calls. Bold sound, two speakers and one passive subwoofer. Auxiliary input, which is handy. Rechargeable battery, okay, offers up to five hours of continuous playtime. Now I can tell you guys right now that that is significantly less than the Jambox. However, if you were paying like, you know, if you were paying per minute of playtime, then, um, the twist is still a better deal. However, you also lose the size advantage that something like the Jambox has. So here we have a fairly large speaker that is actually apparently supposed to go this way, not the other way. And uh, here we have a significantly smaller one. And just for good measure, I am going to do the iPhone comparison. Yay! Here, you should get the top down view. So now you know how big they all are. Um, oh, I don't know, Slick wants me to do this. There you go. So, let's go through the pairing process together and see just how, uh, just how awesome the twist speaker is. Settings, Bluetooth. So probably you just, like, press and hold the thing, right? Oh, it's not charged. Oh, it's not on. Oh, there we go. Okay, well, why don't we take an actual look at the unit itself. So we've got controls here. Bluetooth, volume up, volume down, power, and like something. Pick up the phone, play pause, put down the phone. Uh, you've got what appears to be, ah, there's your two speakers. There's your passive subwoofer. So it looks like this is actually kind of empty space. I don't feel a whole lot in there. Or maybe there's the battery there. Whereas most of the business end of uh, things is in this particular twist. So there's the twist. There's the like not as twisted parts for when you put it on the table so it doesn't roll. Um, has kind of a soft touch feel to it, kind of like BitPhoenix cases. So let's press on, see what happens here. And it's not charged. Dancing makes more sense when there's music. <laughs> So the pairing process took a matter of like seconds, even for Slick, who had incidentally never paired anything over Bluetooth to his phone before. This is Slick's phone. Um, mine's out of battery from tweeting too much. Honestly, we're both really impressed. Uh, for a fraction of the price, and like one over three is a fraction, I think. So for a fraction of the price, the twist is louder and clearer with better, more, um, more punchy bass than the Jambox by Jawbone. So, uh, it loses the compactness. Okay, so remember, it is significantly bigger. It loses the uber battery life. So that's kind of a big deal to a lot of people. If it was me, I'd probably still go with the Jambox, assuming they were the same price. Um, however, they're not. Um, and I think he said there was another, yep, yeah, yeah, I know the one. Uh, wait, no, I don't know the one. Well, yes, I do know the one. Yeah. So this isn't even as loud as it goes. However, that was as loud as we could get it comfortably and maintain the clarity of the bass. It does start to distort eventually, but not like the jam box. It's empty in the valley of your heart. The sun, it rises slowly as you walk. Away from all the fears and all the faults you've left. Oh, there we go bit of a delay there. Um, so thank you for checking out my unboxing and first look at the Twist speaker. Don't forget to subscribe to Linus Tech Tips for more unboxings, reviews, and other computer videos. Oh, right, one more thing. And what's another thing that's great about it is that it charges by mini B, not by stupid micro USB, which is more fragile and less accessible there. I have fewer micro cables, and I think most people probably do as well.